Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, today's video allow me to give you an update about our rabbit tree. How many months ago, maybe 6 or 7 months ago, we tried our best to complete the construction of this building and even the fabrication of our individual pen for the rabbits that is made of welded screen. And we really spent a lot for this because this welded screen is very costly but it pays off because now we are able to produce so many of these kits of these rabbits and I'm so glad that this is the first time that we can harvest more than two dozens of rabbits and in fact I have here five kits that are just barely 10 days old I personally took care of them because the doe, the mother of these rabbits refused to give them milk maybe because of some issues maybe she was disturbed or maybe she has issues about the kind of cage that she is in and today allow me to discuss with you my experiences of this rabbitry well we mentioned that it is good to allow our rabbits to just deliver their babies or their kids on the ground and many have expressed doubts because uh, this ground may have some disadvantage uh, factors especially that the ground might be infested with several mites or insects or whatever virus that may be in here but today we can prove to you guys that the rabbits are best allowed to be delivering babies on the ground because we can see the good results right here in fact I already have so many kids right here that we are going to to win today that's why i especially made this video for the rabbits alone i will not make a vlog about the chickens or the other farm animals like the goats because i wanted to discuss with you guys the basic tips that i have learned in the past four or five months about this rabbitry the wrong notion was that it's not good to give water spinach to our rabbits well I do not agree I will qualify this one because water spinach are really best for our rabbits only if we are going to give them not very fresh meaning that if you can gather this water spinach from the rice field or from the source then you will allow this to dry for a period of five to eight hours and then after that you can already safely give that to your rabbits we can safely assume that this water spinach is really good for the health of the rabbits of course we will not give them the rotten ones because everything that is rotten is bad but i am saying that we are just going to dry this up for a period of five to eight hours and that's gonna be fine for the rabbits and another thing is that the wrong notion was it is not good to touch the newly born kids because the mother or the doe will no longer nurse or give milk to the kids well i would like to qualify because we can actually touch the newly born babies the kittens of the rabbits as long as it will be touched by the person whom they were acquainted with i'm referring to the person who gives water who gives food who gives grasses to them every day because they are used to the smell of that person that is why I said that I will not touch the newly born babies because it's Ryan, my caretaker, who deals with these rabbits every day and they used to, you know, the smell of Ryan. That's why I said it's very safe that Ryan will be the one to handle whatever problem of the newly born kids. And number three, 
If you would really like to become successful in this rabbitry, we have to be very vigilant. In my experience, there are really those that will not take care of the babies carefully. Number one indication is that they will not detach the fur. And the number two is that the babies are just scattered, meaning it's not being placed on one side or one corner. That is the indication that this doe or this mother will likely not feed her kids. So this is a good indication now that you have to get all the kids and you will employ the method of force feeding. Yes, this is correct. If you would like to become successful, we cannot be perfect at all times. There are really those that are not good to become breeders. If you will notice a breed like this, we have to intervene and we have to get all the babies and we will employ, as what I have said, the force feeding. So you will see this one. These five innocent kids are 10 days old now and uh, I sense that they were not actually nursed or being fed by the mother. So I immediately took care of them and I employed the force feeding and they are big now. If I did not intervene, these kids would have been dead by now. So I'm very sure of that. And number four tips that I'm going to give you is that we have to provide a good cage for our rabbits. You will see that they are individually placed in separate cages. You cannot mix this up, especially when they reach the age of four to five months old because they will now start to assert their territory and they are really very territorial. And another thing that I would like to share with you guys is the notion that it is a taboo or it is really prohibited to bring the bat out of the cage and then put that in the cage of the doe. My practice is really different because in my case, I used to bring the bat out of the cage and then put that inside the pen or inside the cage of the doe as long as the doe is in heat. This is really very important because if the doe is not in her in heat period then naturally fighting would occur but if the doe was in the heat period then naturally they will really breed so this is one of the things that i have discovered i have proven to myself that it's really very easy to detect when the does gonna experience the heat period without even getting the doe out of the cage the mere touch of the doe and then if you will observe that the doe will not become angry, the doe will not make any sound, that's an indication, a good indication that she is in heat. So we can now bring out the back and place that in the cage of the doe that's in heat. The water for the rabbits is really very important. We will make sure that they will not run short of water. If you will observe that there is one that is sick, then we will always be vigilant and use the dextrose powder as what we have experienced. And sometimes we use the apple cider to cure the sickness of a particular rabbit and it's really very effective. So guys, now we are set to get all the kids that are due for winning today they are already more than one month old and we are going to win them today and i'm so glad that we can collect more than two dozens of these kids we have here five kids that's already big one two three four five we have here five and i will get this one now and we will transfer them in another in another container in other kids so we will get this one Come on, let me take you out of this cage. Uh, see. And see, I have here five kids, very healthy ones. They're just one month old and we are going to win them because after how many days we are also 
going to observe if the mother will become in heat again. That's the time that we will breed the mother again. Of course, we always consider the health of the doe. So, on this cage, we can also get some. We'll open this one. No, it's not. It's in here. Where is that? Wow, it's here. I hope I can get how many? Excuse me, I have to get all your kit. This, this is the only downside of this uh, the system because it's very, very difficult, especially if you're already 50 years old, to bend your hips and then get the, the kits right here. So I have to get inside. Ouch! Oh. Okay, hurry. This is a mix of the New Zealand breed and uh, the lion head. See? Oh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll cover this one. Okay. Oops. One, two, we have three. We have four, seven, seven kids. Woo. So we will bring this to, to the pet store. As you know, we are engaged in pet shop business and rabbits is one of the animals that are really very saleable in the market. And I have experienced this one for how many, how many years now? As you know, we have a pet store for more than uh, 20 years already and rabbits are really the best uh, animals to you know sell in the market so I think we can let's on so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen I'm really very scared if they can if they can go out from this pen the dogs will really chase after them and this is one of the things that we have always to consider the dogs and the rabbits because the attitude of the dog is the same of that cat to the rats if the the dogs can spot a rabbit naturally their initial and natural reaction would be to chase after that rabbit and eat that if possible how many times did it happen to me? It happened more than five times that the dogs are eating my rabbits. So this is also one of the considerations. And I would like to introduce to you guys Casper. This is my favorite buck. This is really very prolific because this Casper has already dozens of kits. He breeds a lot and I observed that the does are also liking him very much. Hello Casper, can you give me a kiss? Mmm, Casper, okay. Okay, this is the lion head. You will see that the, head, the fur is really very smooth. And this we introduce to you my second favorite rabbit. The name is Francis, named after the owner who sold these rabbits to me. And this is a different type of breed because you will see that the head is really rounded. You see the behavior of this is really different from the lion head and the New Zealand breed. So I have one pair of this and I expect to produce uh, dozens of this in the next couple of months. Or maybe you will ask Dexter how much do you sell your rabbit? Well, I'm selling this at uh, $10 each. That's 500 pesos each at the pet store. And you can follow this one if you're just here in our area in Zamboanga City or maybe in the neighboring cities. 
or provinces, you can come and uh, get some of this very beautiful and healthy kits of these rabbits. So guys, our daily routine is to collect the, the manure of these rabbits and actually this is really best for fertilizers. These are organic fertilizers that we have tried to our ornamental plants at home. It really bears flowers and also to some vegetables that we have tried. We have experienced this one actually and uh, as proof to this, you will see this papaya. This papaya has plenty, plenty of roots right there here and over there we can see some big fruits of this papaya they're actually bearing much fruit you look at these flowers how many weeks from now we're gonna be able to see another group of new papayas right here new fruits right here and this is really a good fertilizer we have proven this and uh, that's why i said that rabbit tree has really so many purpose you can use the dung you can sell the rabbits and you can even eat the rabbits as our viand. We can raise them for meat purposes. So this is the thing that we can share with you so far. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are new to this channel, may I invite you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified of our regular uploads. We are uploading videos every five days and I would like to ask you guys to please share these videos to your friends and relatives who may be wanting to learn about farming, chicken farming, rabbit farming, fish farming, and uh, this uh, turkey farming. So, thank you guys. I hope you will share only here at Dexter's World.